What's up everybody? Today's video is going to be a good one. Come along with us as we take over Audubon Zoo in New Orleans to celebrate my dad and all of the donors who gave the gift of sight this year. Watch us explore the zoo and have some unexpected interactions with the animals. Plus, watch till the end to see what it's like behind the scenes when I mess up my confessional shots. Let's go. Where you at, crew? It's your boy, Trey. Welcome back to the channel. So today we're headed over to Audubon Zoo in New Orleans to honor my dad and the other donors that donated their eyes this past year. For those who don't know, 2024 has been one of the hardest years for me because my dad unexpectedly passed away this summer. After he died, we got a phone call informing us that he chose to be an organ donor, and that included his eyes, of course. So my dad was a huge light within the community and he devoted his life to the service of others for decades. So it really wasn't a surprise to us that he chose to be an organ donor. Yo, tell camera he eats his hamburger upside down. It don't matter. It matters. Messing with my OCD, y'all. <laughs> y'all, this almost took me out. What is that? Why? Comment on Cuff Lady's video, regardless of the subject of the video, comment with your biggest fear. You have to say it. I am scared of mushrooms. My biggest fear is mushrooms. <laughs> mushrooms, oh, they look so creepy to me. The fact that they're a fungus. And I know cheese is a fungus, so don't even get me started on that, because then I will stop eating cheese again. Is this some kind of mushroom? Okay, y'all. So I'm here at the Audubon Zoo, running into spider webs. I should cut this out, but I probably won't. Uh, but we're here. We got invited today because of my dad's donation to uh, of his eyes when he passed away this summer. Um, this is a real nice event that they put together for the donor families and the recipients' families to come together. Um, of course, they we can't know exactly who has his eyes, but just being able to be here today and be around other people who've gone through what we've had to go through and seeing people who received uh, the gifts that... Um, donors have been able to give it's just real touching so that's what we're doing today and we have this picture over there i'm gonna um insert that clip here of all of the donors at the memorial table so besides that we just had lunch so we're gonna go explore the zoo which should be fun so today is about the most non-New Orleans day of the year. The humidity is low, the temperature is like in the 60s, and we got a slight breeze. So it's the perfect day for this. Miss Kipling from Jesse, y'all. Hey. Hey. Uh oh. Well, that makes me nervous. Why, Why is it cracked? I'm the friend. Are you perfectly In his eyes don't blink. He looking at you. Hello. Did he move? No. Is he real? Like a statue. <laughs> so they got a neck. So does that mean he could climb? Oh yeah. He's not even breathing. Is he real? Yeah, he real. 
Oh yeah, he real. His oh, eyes move. Oh, yeah. Imagine this running out on your porch. <laughs> What? I think oh, he, I thought it was a stick. <laughs> That's what he said. See, he usually was taking from trees. That's why I don't go in the woods, y'all. No woods for me. Oh my God, that's amazing, but it's terrifying. No. Oh, no. Wow. Oh, the turtle. This is on the lane. Little green. He's, he could, he should be like brown to you. Yeah. Now that's a lizard I can deal with. <laughs> it was hard for me to find out. I found him right away. I found him right away. Black breasted beef turtle. You see He's right in front of you, right on the ground. He's cute. No, he's next to the bowl. He was right there in my face. Yep, this, 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 this is the case of many of these. They're right there in your face. And you Again, why well, I can't go in the wood. It's <laughs> <laughs> weird how they wrap around like that. They snakes, that's what they do. I hate them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yo, it's bigger than what it looked like. <laughs> a skink. That's a new word I learned today. <laughs> I could watch this view all day, y'all. Especially with this breeze. If you didn't know, these beautiful oaks are all throughout the entire city. That's underrated. Like you don't really know until you come here and sit under them. Just how beautiful they are. And I've seen oak trees in other places, but they just aren't this big and this majestic. But I'm taking a little break because it's crazy how your brain works. So I know that I had been to Audubon Zoo before when I was a kid. On a field trip, I came here and that was like probably the only memory I had. But it wasn't until I was walking through one of the exhibits that a major memory came flooding back of me being in that exhibit with my dad. And it's ironic because today we're here to celebrate him. And 
I didn't even remember that he chaperoned that field trip. And it's crazy to me because I'm like, how could I forget that he chaperoned? But I, I don't know. <laughs> it just made me get a little emotional. But that's his way of letting me know he's here with me today. So I'm trying not to be sad and trying to continue having fun. Um, so we're on our way to go see the rest of the exhibits and make our way over to the elephants, which is what I really want to see. So just like everything else in life, there's always a downside. And the downside to sitting under these beautiful trees is that you can and will get hit in the head with one of these damn acorns. Cameron just finding that out today. I do not want to get hit. I do not want to get hit. <laughs> so we better keep it moving. <laughs> what would you rather? Get hit in the head with an acorn or have an incident with the birds again? Why Why you go ask me some shit like that? <laughs> You gotta choose. No. You gotta choose one. <laughs> no, I ain't choosing. So I just realized we're in here with the birds. Oh. Some of them are caged, like this beautiful bird. Now, y'all know that I love birds, but I'm allergic to birds. I probably shouldn't be in the bird encounter, whatever you call it. We'll see how this goes. <laughs> Is it a parrot? Uh, it's a pump. Oh. Uh, reading is fundamental. So they are a parrot. They go where it's large as parrot. Oh, okay, I was right. Y'all, I don't know what is hiding in this tree, but. Something is. These are. Wow, this one is beautiful. Toucan. I'm scared to whistle to get his attention. What? <laughs> oh, he turned for me. Smile for the camera. Hello. Y'all, I didn't know we was like in, like with the bird. Like I thought they was all like in a cage. <laughs> I'm shaking. <laughs> woo, woo. That's loud. Hey, you want to see me go first? Y'all don't know how much courage it took for the three of us to go past that. <laughs> three big chickens. <laughs> Y'all love owls. Oh, you look at them. They're so ominous. Hello. <laughs> he didn't worry about me. He went to sleep. Who do you think you are? I'm perching on my face. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hello, Al.
So y'all, we thought the birds were gonna be enclosed like the reptiles were. Boy, was we wrong. What's that saying? Yeah, we thought. So I don't know if y'all noticed, but I was whispering the whole time because I was terrified that one of those birds was gonna land on me. If that had happened, I promise y'all, I would have passed clean the fuck out. Cameron, what you would have did if that peacock thing? Well, well, you and Kyle, what y'all would have did if it landed on y'all's shoulder? You just, I was, you just be cool and not panic, which it's easy to say because it's a bird. I mean, it's a big bird, but I would have melted and died. <laughs> now that's different. Especially if the thing started howling like that. <laughs> it freaked the hell out of me. It freaked all of us out, y'all. At first, the I thing thought was that was so the, loud. At first, I thought that was a little girl that did that, but <laughs> nope. It was that thing. <laughs> I like animals, just not that close. So do we go this way? I think we go this way. Or do we go straight? I think it's all a part of this animal thing, so maybe we can just start here. Okay. The sea lions, y'all. I wonder what they feel like. They look so smooth. Yeah. Alright, let's see if we can get them to come. Here it comes, guys. Here it comes. Oh, wildebeest. I thought they were fictional. <laughs> you remember how I told y'all it was a nice, cool day? Well, New Orleans is New Orleans, eh? It ain't cool no more. The king of the jungle. They're just so unbothered, y'all. She's so big. Definitely bigger than a dog. Uh -huh. We're gonna get him to roar. Well, you have to annoy him to do that, and I don't think you want to annoy him. <laughs> So they don't just roar like dogs bark? No. no. Lions are tame until they don't want to be sick. They just chill until they see you in there. The muscles. Yeah. Imagine that tackling me. Uh, you wouldn't survive. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you. Is that I think. You know, I don't know. Oh, no. The pelican. I thought that was the boom when we first came in. Pretty. I found what I came to see. Oh, 
He don't want to look at me. He showed me what he wanted me to see. Her video, thank you for supporting, you know, the Get the Site and uh, Southern Advent. Um, just for a medical, you know, side, you know, being able to be part of that, be part of the Get the Site is a, is a, a big deal. It's very special. And a lot of these patients have cut, lost their livelihood, not being able to see affects, you know, your daily life. It affects your job, it affects your relationship with your family, it affects you being able to do just normal things that we all take for granted. And so although, you know, the loss of a loved one is, is awful, I, I want to just let everybody know that something really good, you know, comes out of that. And, um, and just know that that gift that your loved one has given has really changed someone else's life. And so to the donor families, I want to thank you for your selfless and courage, selflessness and courage in a time of loss. Um, in the most difficult time of your life, probably, you chose to say yes to somebody probably that called you randomly on the phone. Uh, and I wanna thank you for allowing us to be a part of that process and allowing us to help your family and help the recipients that would receive the corneas that you donated. Um, and your loved ones' odd legacies truly live on through not just memories, but like Dr. Kennedy said, the vibrant colors and light that you've restored to others. And to our recipients, I want to thank you for coming today uh, to you know, inspire us with your resilience and with your gratitude uh, to come here. And even though you may not know the donor family that you got the corneas from, just being here today, we recognize that you're thankful for what you got. And I want to thank you for joining us today. We're going to go ahead and release the butterflies. Two, three.
decided to attend the event today. I almost didn't go because it was so emotional thinking about everything again. Grief is so difficult because until you experience it, you assume that it gets better over time. But that's not really how it works, I've learned. You just have to learn to adapt and live with your new normal. The hardest thing for me over these past four and a half months or so has been the unexpected periods of sadness that just creep up at different moments. I could be having fun and then boom, something might remind me that he's gone. And then all of those emotions come flooding back. <clears throat> what today showed me is that it's important to keep living. The beauty of life and all of those different animals today reminds me that even when things are hard, you can find the silver lining. It pays to take a break from everything once in a while and just experience the beauty that's all around us. And the fact that my dad's sacrifice has enabled someone to be able to see that beauty makes me so proud of him. Okay, y'all, every time I come home, I gotta get my care package mm -hmm. of my French bread and my bunny bread. Oh, if there was smell of vision, y'all would be in heaven. So, y'all, no matter where New Orleanians land in the world, we always gonna rep the city. And New Orleans will always be home to me. So today I got a glimpse of my childhood, which is so rare because so much of the city is different now because of Hurricane Katrina. But going to the zoo and remembering the field trip I took when I was in elementary school brought back that nostalgia. So that's going to be it for today, guys. If you haven't already, please do me a favor and hit that subscribe button, like and comment. Remember, we are on the road to a thousand subscribers. So if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, what you waiting for? But y'all know I got y'all with some more content coming soon. So just stay tuned. Until next time, peace. So y'all, no matter where New Orleans... What the f***? <laughs> no! <laughs> <It's Latoya. laughs> All right, look, we ain't, wow. we ain't doing it again. Come on, just don't start it again. Just <laughs> Today is not my motherfucking day. So y'all, oh, see, I got to be serious. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Stop making me laugh.